Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beat Up Plan and this is our Trials of Trapezoid campaign within Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode, we had a man we commissioned an armor to. And he fled to the court of my son, but what he didn't realize is that my son loves me. Despite the fact that I am a rival, which I have to admit I didn't realize in the last episode, I gave him a kingdom, a county, a transferred vassals to him, I gave him artifacts. My son was happy with me. Hence, my son, despite our rivalry, as I made him ambitious, so that's still also kind of a weird thing. But okay. Gave his father a gift. A gift that now sits within my prison. The very smith that ran away. Because, you know what? <clears throat> He actually loves me if he wasn't in prison. Moreover, he gave me back my armor. Now, normally I don't do this. But right now, I'm going to. You. You said you would make an armor for me and ran away with it. You will never make an armor for anyone ever again, Master Sabas. Your prisoner has been blinded and released. Another threat to your ambitions dealt with. Watch your step. Yeah, he has been blinded. Now he ain't living bejeebus out of me, and I don't give a hoot. But, yeah. And have I gained cruel for this? No, I have not. It was righteous to do so, and that, I think, just goes to show that it was really true. I really found that a really weird thing. I now realize that apparently my son is my rival. That's why he fled to him, but it's in my frickin' same country and I just gave him all kinds of stuff. It felt really, really weird. Uh, peace offer, that's the Zikri revolt, I think. Yep, that was taken care of. Oh, and Solanki is once again breaking apart. What is it this time? Tyranny. Okay, so this is not uh, something that's gonna get really problematic. And this is the Devit revolt for Gavelkind. Not gonna get too much trouble. Not a genius, but a daughter, and that is good. The governor's line will set forward, and there is a truce about to end. But I always notice that Trebizond is already doing the holy war for you, Gra. So, I don't need to do jack. It's already been taken care of, and actually I also see here are some stripies. But the Dutch have got done. Which is all the way over here, so I don't know what's going on there, but... The second Kotan Mongol subjugation war, the Mongol Empire is being... ...mangled. But yeah, the Turkish ban still has survived. I love it. I find that so cool to see. And then they get... they also have a pretty cool symbol over here. Uh, uh, Neofas the Fet has declared Andalusian war for the Dutch's claim on Andalusia. Sure, you're Castilian. We did not manage to change that. Moreover... What in the world? Oh, Portugal is also separated. Why is that? <clears throat> Inherited. Ah. Wait, what? The usurper. But for some reason this went to her. Okay. And Galicia is right now attacking Portugal in the second Galician claim on Portugal war. Which I'm going to tell her, you know what, darling. Surrender to Galicia. Because very well this war must end. There we go. Galicia is now won. We don't that silly stuff anymore. And then, in the Lucian Galician du jour over Catrava. So he can defend against that. And you are being attacked by this rebellion, who says, for the Duchess Aglidia's claim. Who is that? Claimants. Duchess Aglidia. That's Anna. By name, please. Aglidia, this lady. Who is Greek? And her son is Greek. And he is Greek. You know what? Surrender to that. Surrender to the Andalusian Revolt. Very well, it's warm wire stand. Boom! And we have a new queen. Another de la Vega, but this one is Greek. And she is married to the Duke of 
Kabilia over there. And then we have La Mancha who just got separated and I offer you vassalization which you accept. Very good. And you are part of which realm? In principle Andalusia. Okay. I will transfer Vazalus to you. Just to get the borders even weirder. But yeah, there it is. Andalusia is now its own little kingdom again. Under Greek rule, everything done and done. We're gonna wait until we can hire yet another um, smith, which is going to take a bit, um, take some time, and then we're going to require or ask him to, um, well, make us some a, a way better crown than we had and a bay better scepter. We could write another fear on paper. Why not do it? Um, you're my best friend. We've become good friends with Egypt. That has been ha happening before, which is excellent. And um, I can have some help some friends. Uh, you know what? Why not? We gotta write another fear on paper. Oh, it was fun. And by the way, I am the next in line to become the Magus, which is kind of interesting because I am already the Magus, so that's kind of weird. But yeah. It's declared Second Galician War for Gavelkind. Don't do that. No. Nope. Peace of Galicia. I don't want more Gavelkind. It's already as weird as half down here. And I think I saw the Roman Empire switch a little bit, no longer standing like this, because there it is. Well, well done. I am in love with that. Create my dear darling Grand Alenda title of the Duchy of Yugra. Congratulations. And with that, you have become a very powerful lady indeed. Look at that. Trebizond. Super large, but it is all yours. Now we just need to close the gap over here. On the Mongol Empire, but unfortunately the Mongol Empire is in the defensive pact against us. So attacking them is going to be a wee little difficult. But yeah, and we are too far away to start messing with these guys. Like, I can't declare a war over here. No border. It is really is the Selshuk or the Mongol Empire. Would that I love that I could take Sibir. Sibir is uh, definitely on the charts for me. Give away Kipchak. Take to human. Yeah, Sabir would actually be kind of cool if we could take that. But the problem is you're fighting a horde. And the hordes are not going to... When you take this, they're not going to go like, Oh yeah, you, you conquered a lot. You also need the capital and that capital and... <sighs> fighting nomad hordes is... <sighs> Just a pain in... The arse, to be frank. Which I own. Any other things that we can upgrade? Yes, we can. How wonderful. I can't sing. Not anymore. I used to actually be able to sing. I actually performed back in the day, but... <laughs> no. Those times are gone. Alright. Saving up cash then for the... Oh. He died. And the Greek boy is on the frickin' throne. The signed guardian. Don't you go away from Greek now. There you go. By the future emperor. Very happy with that. Sweden is now under Greek rule. Very nice. And this is the heir after that. Which is still Greek, which is nice. Bit of the wrong religion, but uh, nothing seriously problematic. Um, darn it, you became fuzzy, which is com not helping this. So, we're gonna go then for stewardship, and we'll try and help him out, because, well, I'm a fortune builder. Kind of hope, though, that I would still gain another bonus, though, that I can actually become a true, proper, uh, I'll send the paper to evaluate, of course, but, um, what was I about to say? That I, I wish this would still become my touched, which can happen when you have this focus. Um, everything here seems at peace for once. Yep. Good. 
great even, actually. Oh, you're about to kick the bucket? No, no, no. no not, not per se kick the bucket. I misread that. I thought he was incapable, but that's not true. Yeah, I really am more interested in hiring another smith. 77. 5, 77. It's a lot of pressure against trust again. And yeah, I'm saving up all this cash for that per that smitty because man, that's gonna take a lot out of me. Uh, Germany is winning. Very we good. Gained prestige, more stuff. But yeah, you can do kind of little with this. I can change my my um, act, but I don't want to do that. Let's let's just do some scrying. We've never done that before. <clears throat> I place the ball before me and wait for the water to be perfectly still. A regular scrying would allow me to choose focus for my thoughts. On the other hand, I could use something from my s shelves of alchemy in order to create something unseen before. The reflection on the water ripples as I let out a breath. I want to know about the battle to come. No. I want to know about my relationships ahead. Nope. I want to know what will happen to me as emperor. I've already done that a lot. So some crushed iron shall help the patterns. Uh, I will use it and... You know what? Just use it, because we're using the ingredients. There are just lines, or are they... Yes, I see a forest. A vast forest. Marvelous. This is a grim... Clearly a good omen. Reassuring vision. Stewardship and learning. Yay! Temporary buff. That, I'm not really sure what... That will help me, but hey, we, we got a temporary buff. Oh, yes. Serve the county of past. Hungary has been inherited. So now these two kingdoms are together. Uh, Grand Fies royalty. Nope. Where does this then go to? To past. Oh, to your brother. Right. Why do you hate me? Probably can... Yeah, because I help people make ambitious and then they hate me. Which is... Silly. I help them say, go get it. Become great. And then they become my rival. Because they want to get my greatness. Then they should get jealousy. Then they should get envious as a, a, a nobility. It feels weird to me. Yes, become diligent. Eh, you became paranoid. Nonetheless. By the way, why would you get... You can still get diligent from here. But paranoid is not bad. It's not horrible. Makes it harder to kill you. So that is a good thing. Uh, nope. Almost. May is not the fifth. Kagan Sushan of Sushan. Where in the bloody blazes do you live? The, the borders here are horrendous. Hey, you're not paying tribute anymore to the Western Protectorate. Wow, oh, and this is just... <sighs> Sir Sean of Sir Sean. Yes, sure, fine. Whatever. Where are you? You're this little... Jerk. That's... <laughs> Did not... Whatever. I mean... I'm not gonna do anything against them anyways really soon right now, but... Let's go. Let's find a smith. Finish me a goldsmith to create jewels befitting my status. There it is. As we have a weapon of the Grenadian Revolt. What, what, what do you want again? Gavel kind. Stop with the gavel kinding. Stop with causing issues in the realm. Man, Iberia is a peninsula that's, that's just, just begging for issues. I did click on finding a goldsmith, right? Business as usual, then. And acquire ingredients. Let's do the marketplace again, just because I do. During the last few days, I've overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently, a most renowned goldsmith is traveling through the Roman Empire. You mean our empire isn't large enough just to have a goldsmith in it? Um, and my curators are prattling excitedly about his work. Perhaps I should invite this man and employ his services. Nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. Yes. The goldsmith, Iordanus, cautiously accepted my invitation and arrived at my court a mere week later. 
He has presented me with some sketches of his previous work and several letters of recommendation. I am assured of a skill, though I ask myself just how much money I can spare for a set of crown jewels. One and all shall see the indisputable might of House Gavras. They have changed this. This used to be more... Uh, um, I n remember having bought down crown jewels for 3,500 gold. Now they've made this standard prices. It was, it was originally uh, linked to your income, but 2,000 and, and let me freaking build everything up that I want to build. Just build city after city and make everything stronger. Which does mean that we're going to have an, a moment in which I'm going to have to give out all kinds of stuff. I thought I saw another... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, temple, sure. I shouldn't have done that because if I would join the other society, they are half price. At the end. Oh, well, whatever. Another city. You still have a tribal holding? Dude, I'm right at that. that stuff. Here, if you have troubles with it, build a marketplace. Oh, there you go. And that's the last one I can do for a while. The stalls around us are brimming with all different kinds of goods and people- Ah, yeah, that's the buying of goods. Sorry, forgot that. Title of the duchy. Trebizond is attacking something. What are you attacking this time? Uh, For Count Sapa's claim on... I thought for a moment they were talking about the smith and I was like, no way in hell is he going to inherit something. <laughs> uh, oh, something with a vision. I should have checked that. Okay, we're, 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 we've gained this. Which was originally in our, our hands, but I, I should not have done that the way we, we could have held them. But yeah, that's now also back in our hands. Sure. Maintaining mercenary band. Sure. As fulfilled his wish to see the realm prosper. There we go. You can find the most interesting things here. 25 gold and we get three new ingredients. Maintaining a mercenary band. Levy size reduced. Oh, so... Oh! Maintaining a mercenary band actually lowers the some of the holdings. Their power. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you know what? Seeing we don't do it anymore, dissolve it. It's dissolved. And you go to a terrain of a man you don't like. Invite the court, man. No? Unable to press my claim. For the Kingdom of Sweden. Sure. The peace with the Selshuk is ending. Mm, you don't say, you don't say. Um, uh -oh. are we going to go, yeah, we, uh, on one hand, I'm like, I don't want Armenia to take away all of Armenia because I want a day one war, but on the other hand, perhaps we have other day one wars. And it feels like bad that this isn't ours, of the Armenian people over here. And after that, it's Arabia. We'll, we'll, we'll start messing down here, but we, we need to attack the Selshuk. Declare war until the 10th of March. Alright. You are in position. You will now go into position. You guys are in position. That's not a large army. What is happening over here? Attacking Sirjan on the Tormentor in the second castle. Meet Holy War for Sardaya. That's not an issue of, of mine. Selsuk themselves are not busy. So this is going to be a war. Like a war war. 10th of March. It has been many weeks since I commissioned Master Odiadanus and he has come to the... He didn't flees! I've calculated again where the comet is going to fall. Now he gets them. Sorry, but I just don't agree with this, this... He is in my realm! 
This is just literally in my freaking realm. They just go to rivals of mine and they just go, ah, nah, nah, nah. I, I, I don't agree with this. Here is this Jordanus, this Smitty. I, I seriously don't agree with this. This is some... No, no, sorry. If they would go to another realm, fine. But he's in my realm. It's because it's a rival. He just randomly says, no, you know what? Fuck you. I should not have done that. Uh, we'll find our medic text. But I am currently a little in... I don't have cash. I can't wage war if I don't have cash. The esteemed Magus Exodius. Uh, I think I became the head of the society? No. Yet again, I must thank you for your generous invitation. And on great minds, it's such a fine idea. However, I have one small suggestion. I would be delighted to, for you to accept Adept. Tibolo is an indisputable brilliant should be. I did have Tibolo in mind, but you see... Ah, uh, I'm... I'm doing a gathering of the great minds. And now people are trying to convince me who can join. Finally, my guests are here. After a pleasant dinner, we have retired to my study. During the coming weeks, my guests and I have agreed to work on a common project. A joint ingenuity shall bring about a brilliant new invention. The time has come to reveal the direction for our enterprise. Nothing is deadlier than a sharp mind. Let us invent the machine of war. The aim should be to improve our prosperity of our lands. Or the noble's purpose is to further our understanding of the universe. Yes, I understand, but we're going to go for stewardship. As I look around the table, everyone nods in agreement. A fine suggestion, my dear brother. Adept. Staka Starakios exclaims. A white smile on his crazed face. Tomorrow we shall bring to work on the project the first thing after sunrise. I'm glad we are one mind, honored colleagues. I'm going to have to stand here on the border a little bit. We found a hermetic text. That's awesome. But we're going to stand on the border a little bit as we... Has lifted the excommunication of Count Hikarius. Okay. As I enter the laboratory one morning, I am met by agitated voices. Adepts Tarakarios and Neophyte Tedodosa are gesturing wildly over a few sketches. They are disagreeing on the direction of the project. Stakarios argues for a riskier but potentially more rewarding route. Where Theodosia wants to play it safe. Stakarios is right, we must explore all our limits. We're gonna go that way. We'll take the risk. We're ambitious. One of the eunuchs at the Imperial Court has distinguished himself and has caught the intention of your advisors. Though they are uh, usually jealous of some kind. No, I, d I don't need more people. Okay, somebody got trapped. And that is my cue. Just declare the war. I was waiting for this, this little uh, thing to happen, this gathering, because I was afraid it would actually be... Um, consider null and void if I would do it now. Interesting how few people are currently in the defensive pact against me. And no, I'm not going to use all these troops right now. But some of these troops are going to be like backup troops. Should he attack, then I can reinforce with, with some stuff. So that's why I'm calling up these people right now. Um... But I am going to help out here a little more with these then. I'm trying to focus on my working, but it's becoming increasingly difficult. Adept Starakarios and Neophyte Gregorias will never agree on anything. If one says one thing, the other must immediately disagree. Something I cannot help but wonder if they are both possessed. Listen to me, my friends. Surely this thing between you is a simple misunderstanding. 71% of the efforts being successful. Or I can, dismiss, miss, I can dismiss one of them. Sorry. I'm getting so ex... I'm getting frazzled by the way that my crown jewels have been taken away again to a r randomly to a rival, which feels like stupidly. And then I clicked now away on that thing where I just noticed I gained 300 hysteric knowledge and I think plus 2 learning. Publish the fear and pay their state of the art laboratory or something. I, I gained... Uh, I, will, I will have to look at myself up. I'm so sorry. Luckily, we have the power of YouTube, and you will be able to pause at that moment. But yeah, there was a little bit of text about what happened in the laboratory. But I'm getting a little frazzled by 
the amount of stuff that is going on. I want to get my freaking crown jewels. And the fact that the smith just randomly goes away into my own realm is... And I can't imprison him, which I would say is like a totally accepted bad thing for him to do. And I should have all the rights to, to, to just nap him. Oh, my son has lost his first son. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, but he has, not, he has gained a strong son. Nonetheless, I find that silly. Beyond notice. And I'm just so uh, annoyed by that that I just can't focus on what I actually should be focusing on. The invention, the accumulation of our great collaboration is finally finished. We have invented a device which always points towards the lodestar of the north. Making it possible to navigate even with the celestial bodies that are obscured by the clouds. It will surely gain an advantage to our traders. Free on the steric knowledge, we gain a magnetic com compass and 100% technological points. That is just amazing. That last, just tech points and we gain a compass. So yes, we can... Wow, two stewardship, two learning. Again, I, and I need 20 learning to use this again, but that boosts my learning by two to have a better chance of using the Magnus Opus. So that is that is just a chain reaction. So, being part of the Hermetic Society in comparison to the other society, I definitely see myself... Um, uh, well, I'm also look at the amount of uh, uh, asteric knowledge I'm, I'm boasting right now. It does really help. Hold a grand debate. There we go, we can do it again. Let's do it. Bring me my most trusted couriers. And what I also should do... Is actually notice that there's a battle going on over here. Oh, I am so frazzled by all the kind of thing that I have to... Why is the game doing this? Why am I clicking away? I want to be here. I am lucky I'm winning this battle. Because I was way outnumbered. And we can hold enough troops over here. We're gonna go over here. I am surprised my, 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 my forces held that, actually. I'm just getting frazzled by the amount of stuff that I can do. And it, it, it just... I want to do the Hermetic Society thing, but I also want to continue with... Waging war on the cell sugar arch nemesis, and I want to get my freaking stuff. I don't want every smith to go like, ha ha, I'm escaping within your realm and you can't catch me. You're within my realm. Oh, I can compose another book as well. Don't know if I will live long enough for that, but I might just do that. 1,000. It is now a little bit too pricey to do so. After some time spent listening to the debates between scholars and the varying intellect, of varying intellect, sorry, I admit to occasionally drifting off into my own thoughts. Yet there is one person that keeps me bringing me attention back to the present. Bishop Wenzel of Lunsberg has wits and a way with words, unlike I've any I've seen. I I am not sure what these feelings are. There's a chance I became friendship. There's a chance I became envious. I did not become envious. Okay. I can't bust down the doors, despite the fact that they have only 500 men in this region. Really? Okay then. You know, that's kind of freaking silly. Formed an alliance with Despot of Pomerania, that's fine. Guys that were also mm, for the longest time Russian and I've managed to get to Greece, to become Greek in the end. After several hours of long discussions and much debating, the grand debate is over for now. There might be a few heated arguments, but I think the most attenders would agree that it was a learning experience. I held a grand debate and participating members will gain an increased opinion of me for five, for, uh, five for a few years. That is not really worth it. Uh, we can hold the Grand Debate again, make Rome the capital. I'm not gonna expel the jury, I can wait for writing a theorem paper. I'm just gonna write another book then. Just write another big book. Where was it? Compose a book. 
I saw them for a moment available. Here it is. Uh, I will be tackling the complexity of war. No, something to honor God. We're going to go with learning. There we go. Because the other one was about uh, relationships. Now we're going to go with this one. There we go. We ransacked you and we took... What was it? A silk shroud. One less to worry about. I think actually we destroyed it because we already had one. Yeah. One less thing to worry about, it said. So we destroyed it. Hello. Need to look a little bit in this area. Because you are here now with a lot of folks. Oh. I apparently killed a killer that wasn't the killer. So I lose 20 prestige. That's not too bad. 34% in all favor already. Just surrender, Selshuk. You can, you can, it's okay to say. You're just outmatched on every level by the Roman Empire. There is nothing you can do to stop me. 47% in all favor. You gonna run with these guys there? Sure. Trobazonian Revolt, what, what do you wish? No. Do not do that. Excellent. Do not destabilize by changing the ruler. Um, the heir of my heir. Yeah, let's get him ambitious so that for once he won't hate his father, he will hate his granddad. That is a good thing. But it will be another thing that the smith can flee to. Because every smith will be very disloyal. By all means, become, consent become diligent. Yep, well that is good. The only thing he lacks now is shrewd. I think I may be using, yeah, my, uh, my retina here. That's a kind of a dumb thing because that makes it more expensive. How young are you? Not at Boop. Bye-bye. People don't want to pay for you, darling. I'm sorry. I didn't kill you. They killed you by not wanting to pay for you. And he already surrenders. Except. There you go. Bye bye. And there we finally have. The Dejudieri. Yeah. Uh, of the Roman Empire. In our hands. And we're still incorporating all of this. All of it. But yeah. We just managed to get the last little bits. Over here. Of the Armenian people. And the Armenian people are Byzantine. So yes. We have done it. We have claimed the last little bits, and that means we won't have a claim right now, but perhaps we can get a claim in another way. After all, we can um, perhaps get a kingdom uh, sorted later on and, and thereby gain more terrain. But yeah, that's another Selshuk piece of their lands handed to us. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. Stand down. You guys have to replenish. And this is definitely going to go to Trebizond, as I already gave the rest of Armenia to, by accident to, to Georgia. So, and if we do this, then they have 1, 2, 3, and they will have 5 plus actually Dwin. So then they are still logically the rulers of Armenia. So, do we have somebody we want to give something to? No, that is just the Caliph of, of the Selshuk, who just surrendered quite properly. No, there's no way you can stand up against me. Ah. Actually, no, I thought your marshal was way higher. I, I didn't read you correctly. I'm looking... Yeah, like this. No, you also have, like, a shit marshal. Ah. This is, this is, this is what I'm looking for. This is a good guy. Clear. There you go. A bit of an in-between option. Yeah. And the other one is... Tarun. Yep. We can't usurp it. 
Transfer for Zalage. Tarun. Transfer of Azalage of Clear. There you go. Trevisont, you remain having a border with the Selshuk. By all means, attack. But uh, yeah, that is done. 55,000 supply limit in, in our original county. How much is it in Byzantine? 66,000. Yeah, we can hold large armies there. Okay. Well, that was a war. And I see the county still being converted. I am going to move you guys down here. Because uh, next target is definitely going to be Arabia. Um, County converted. Where are we trying to convert? Here. And that isn't changed yet. No, it's not. Okay, so... I actually was also showing you the model off. Was, was showing off a bit. Yep. Mm, that's going fine. Solanke Revolt is larger this time. Attacking in a war against a tyranny. Man, this is a great Solanke Revolt. They actually gained some terrain, I have the feeling, here again. I guess these guys have been punched by his uh, subordinates. Punjab is still uh, its own little righteous kingdom here. Uh, they've got still gavel kind on and everything split it splits. That's so bad. That me uh, gavel kind is the bane of uh, continued existence. Um, dissolved as they no longer have marriage ties. Oh, okay. As you wish. So we are writing a book again. Right, composing a book. Right now, we've already put the scribes to work. We can try to publish another theorem paper. But when can we hold another? When can we invite another smith? A smith. In 1379, pretty close. So maybe, maybe you're just a freaking ass lucky. <coughs> I will pay for it one more, but I will not have. That's my daughter. Got it. My children are dying left and right. Oh, Ireland just died. Ooh, hey, Ireland. Can I assign you a guardian? Uh, I can do it. And... Very nice. Keep the trade route open. And uh, focus on heritage. Why don't you become Greek? Hmm. I'll buy a new one. No pleasing this child. When was it? 7971. The sixth inherited the Kingdom of England. Yeah, well that sucks. Um assign a guardian. The wife of my son. Thank you, and change the heritage focus. You just saw him that he switched again immediately in between as well. And advisor. Trevisond. If it's just an advisor, then Trevisond will do just fine. I still need to gather money in order to... Sorry, folks, I can't pay for that if I want to have those silly... I want to have better crown jewels, which are taken away from me in very silly ways. Really, I'm not going to... Uh, if it happens again, I'm going to cheat again. Because that is just... Uh, as a, as a, uh, a way. Because it is in the freaking same realm as my own. If it would go to the Seljuk, fine. But this guy that has my crown jewels is beneath me. And yes, I know he hates me because I'm a rival. But that just doesn't make sense. And then just go... Oh, uh, -derp -derp -derp. just gonna, you know, run away with the stuff you just held. Oh, great, and this emperor of emperors that ever lived. Of the largest realm that ever lived. Find a smith. Again. Like, seriously. Don't do this game. It is kind of obnoxious. 
And also, it cannot be really explained well. I mean, if they flee, sure. I mean, the last smith I kind of pissed off by saying, hey, keep on your own work. And I could have uh, just said nothing about it and I would have lost 75 prestige. But it feels really weird that when you're a smith and you are making gear for the Emperor, that you would not A, work on that, because if the Emperor uses your gear, whoa, you can greatly increase in the prices of, of things you make. Secondly, it's the freaking Emperor. If the Emperor says, hey, that person stole from me, people are gonna kinda react to that and say, oh, I can get a little bit of help from the Emperor by, you know, um, giving up this, this guy that stole from him. Because that's basically what he did. And then, uh, we're gonna, you know, uh, have the Emperor on our side. That sounds like an awesome idea. No genius. Uh, keep this information for myself. Don't want to deal with that now. That's Trebizond. Th Trebizond has declared Trezodian Holy War for Sabir. Thank you. That's the exact thing that I was hoping you would do because that makes the province, makes these borders a lot prettier. So hopefully Trebizond will succeed at that. And uh, yeah, I would like to end the episode when we have found another smith. Nothing. Fine jewelry. The greatest for House Gavras. Go. Do not dare and F me up. During the afternoon, as I went to check out the progress of Master Orestes, I walked to see him getting... To see him getting my kinswoman Rodante to help with the forging progress. Okay. Uh, together they were f lifting pieces of metal and Orestes was showing Rodante how to mold the materials into shape. Not exactly what I'm paying him for, but... Not exactly what I'm paying him for, but a form of service nonetheless. I'm glad Orestes is helping him. Yes. And she gains a trait brawny. That's a really good trait. This time I'm not annoying him. I'm I'm letting him do his thing. So hopefully this time he won't randomly ran all, run off with my stuff. Which I paid him for. So. I'm just waiting. Uh, he shall compensate. Uh, ash, I will pay. And this time he didn't run off. I was overcome by excitement and curiosity when Orestes informed me the crown jewels were completed. As I am waiting in my throne for his servants to carry the great boxes across the room, I struggle not to leap up and meet them halfway. When I finally touch the heavy lid, my hands are shaking. The crown of majesty, an emerald scepter, and the sword of heroes. Regalia, worthy of a true emperor. And that is why we did it. We just wanted to have it r done right. The crown of maj majesty, the emerald scepter, and the sword of heroes. Well, the sword of heroes is can be equipped along with the yi. So now we have triple the bonuses that we had before. And still they're not worth much, for by the way. This is not like helping me immensely rule the realm that much better. But it is something that we just wanted to have. Which we do now. So you know what? One running off all the way down here to this guy who is truly dislikes me. He's not just a rival but he really dislikes me. In comparison to my son who is a rival but loves me. So you know what? I uh, feel like this is right. We'll, we'll have one and... Well, it's actually the second one we... we, we <laughs> We ran off because, let's face it, the other one did run off. But my son was so gracious to let me exact my revenge. There is Orestes, and where is the guy that I blinded? I don't know where he is anymore. He's uh, probably fled to another court. But that is not a problem. We now have a regular worthy of an emperor. We have the guardian. And we are making books all over the place. So here's a Magnus Opus. And we are. We also wrote, I believe, um, this is the Emperor Exodius. And the Art of Loving. Yep. Exodius the Wise. And we're building, we're, we're trying to make yet another book with Exodius the Wise. Is he going to live that long? I don't know. But we're going to try. And should this boy die before he gets to the throne, I am, I am definitely considering putting this boy immediately on the throne. Andreas Gravas. Andreas Gavras, sorry. 
instead of uh, his uncle, because his uncle, although not horrible, he isn't ground. But those are worries, perhaps for another time. Perhaps we should scry. But that is all in the next episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.